Tom. Hello, everybody! Tom Fox here, welcoming you to back to Dev to you, the, the thing with the fire emblem. In the last episode, we went to the southern outpost and discovered ourselves a new party member in, I forgot her name already, Claire! The Pegasus Knight. Still missing an archer. I could have actually made Faye into. <gasps> Excuse me, into a Pegasus Knight, or no, I could have made her into something else and then given somebody else Archer because we already have a Pegasus Knight here. Anyway, uh, before we get started, I'm actually going to give Claire uh, an item. Be in this Iron Lance. There's actually a few other things that I have as well that I can give to other people. For example, Lightning Sword and a Rusted Sword. Unusable in this state, so this actually does no damage. Uh, however, the, the lightning sword is really good. A sword that rains down lightning bolts, range of one to two. So actually, you know what I'm thinking? Oh no, Cliff wouldn't be able to, uh, it wouldn't be, that wouldn't be good for Cliff. I was gonna say give Cliff the, uh, the lightning sword and give Alm the, uh, the iron sword, but, uh, Cliff, um, yeah. Cliff has better, uh, what am I saying? Cliff is better off with the, oh, brain, please. Plus 50, oh, oh, it, okay, I see, it overwrites it. Also lowers the speed, transmute. Uh, this is treated as a magical attack. Okay, so notice how his 11 is faded out. I'm sure that probably means that it doesn't actually add 15 to his attack, but rather replaces his attack with that 15 stat. Anyway, we already beat the Southern Outpost, so let's get head up here and start making our way to the Deliverance Hideout by taking out some of these folk here. An enemy squad awaits. Engage! Engage! Mr. Sulu, engage! First battle, Southern Sophia. Alright. So we got a total of nine enemies to look after here. Let's see what they're all about. Well, I'm going to count Nate. I count wrong? One, two, three, four, five. There's nine on the board somewhere. Uh. And this. Aha! This is a Fian army man over to the uh, the right side there. I guess all these are Savian army, but this guy is just off to the side by himself for some reason. And I'm not entirely sure why, because he doesn't have any special items on him, no armor or anything like that. In fact. None of these guys have anything, like, retrievable on them. Okay. Uh, for Claire's sake, I'm gonna want to keep her outside the range of, of the archer. However, there is only one. Also, as a lot you told me in the, uh, the comments, and I figured out a little bit. Oh, these have durability on them as well! I just realized that! Uh, so maybe I should save the... Yeah, hang on, inventory. Store. Convoy. Uh, I'm gonna give him... Let's give him cold soup. Uh, if that's the case, I probably shouldn't give Cliff the Iron Sword then, because that probably is going to... Going to break... It. Yeah, that's actually gonna break very soon. I might as well just use the rest of it up. Okay, uh, let's see... View map. What am I doing? I'll, I'll skip past this, I'm sorry. All righty, let's begin! Player phase. How far is their range? The archer has a range of three, it looks like. One, two, three, yeah, three. Uh, I've got nobody with that kind of range, but I can utilize the defense of, say, someone like Lucas, or as I've been calling him, Kuwabara, uh, for that kind of thing. Move Gray into that range. I'm thinking of sending Claire to attack uh, this mounted unit by him by herself uh she has she's pretty decent i don't foresee her dying like immediately at least that's what i'd like to tell myself cliff that over here and alm could be right there there we go here comes the archer and everybody and their grandmother is moving out toward them. Jesus Christ. Okay. I could have Cliff come over here and attack this gentleman. Uh, unless he crit, he wouldn't actually kill them. 
I also need to be aware of the positioning of my, uh, of my healers as well. For... for a mage. Actually, uh, his defense is kind of average. Actually, that's probably a good reason to not send Claire directly into battle like that. At any rate, I should probably go ahead and, uh, get rid of this archer here. And hope to god that Cliff can crit. 15 damage? I wouldn't kill him. You deserve to lose. Oh no, 7 damage per hit, okay. Iron Sword unlocked the Wraith Strike combat art. If you use an item long enough, you'll gain uh, access to special abilities hidden within it. Uh, this, uh, these combat arts allow you to perform powerful techniques at the cost of HP. This, wait, does, it does have durability as well, but I did learn Wraith Strike. Let's see what that does. An attack with power behind it. Uh, looks like, so it costs, okay, so it costs uh, one hit point to use, but it gives me plus 5 damage and plus 10 to hit. That's interesting. Uh, will this kill immediately? Yes, it will! It is hard being that good, I... I what? Alright. You won't. Alright, uh, let's see. What do I want to do? Let's have Tobin. I feel like I'd be better off. Let's see. Alm can't one-shot this guy, right? No. He can't even come close. Actually, I feel like Cliff almost does more damage. Alright, um... Let's bring Lucas over here to attack this guy. Bipping him. One damage. Leather shield unlock the swap combat art. See what that does. Uh, let's the user swap places with an ally. That's not too bad, actually. I'll have Alm come up here and attack this gent with his sword. Bip! Ouch, and bip. At the very least, I should be able to keep this guy outside of her range. Yeah, alright, we should be good. If I'm doing- if I'm doing my- my finagling correctly here. Oh, the finagling! Bip! Only four damage, good god. Tobin! That was a 96% chance to hit! Okay, uh, Faye. I could move. No, the. Although the archer's gone. I don't want her to get double teamed, so I'll fly her in this way and sort of. Uh, I'll fly her in back this way and wait. Let's have Faye come over here. Well, Faye's already got, uh, something going on with Alm there, so let's do this and recover. Uh, use that. There we go. Uh, da -da -da -da! I'm getting better at reading the enemy. It almost sounded creepy. Then again, she was talking to Alm about like, I will destroy your your enemies, Alm. I will kill in your name. Glory to Alm. Glory to Alm. Silk level up too. Work is beginning to show dividends. Ooh, she got a she got a uh, defense bonus there. All right, Cliff. Ooh, Cliff's going up against the boss. All right, do your worst. Cool bar ain't gonna budge. Ah, oh, um. Oh, he's in the he's in the forest. All right, Tobin can finish him off. Man, Cliff is getting railed. He did level up though, so that's good. Huh? Maybe I'm imagining things. What is it with these guys and these really crappy upgrades? Also, Cliff is looking pretty bad in terms of damage there. Okay, let's go ahead and pelt some more damage into this guy. All right, and then I'll finish him off with Claire. Because we could use the- because Claire could use the experience. 
Uh, actually, ooh, this might be bad, actually. He's not anywhere near her, okay. Her attack is plus two, though, and his defense- Yeah, so she'd be dealing five damage per hit. As long as she hits this first one, there we go. You bore me. Be gone. You bore her! How dare you bore her! Mm. All right, uh... Looks like, uh, Gray and Tobin have some friendship going on here. Hey, Tobe. How it goes? Uh, it goes, I guess. Uh, do you think you could sound a little less cheerful? I don't know. You tell me. Why did you have to... Huh? Uh, never mind. Forget it. Wait, what did I do? <gasps> Gray did something bad. All right. Um. Let's have him send down the f the f bring it down the fire. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Cliff comes over here. That'd be good. I do want, I want, I'm trying to keep my healers as far out of battle as possible. He's not gotten a crit in a long time, though. Which worries me slightly. Nope, not black magic. I want white magic recover on Cliff. Heal, Cliff! Cure light wounds! Good old D&D &D spells. Uh, who's el who else is worse? Alm is pretty worse for wear. White magic recover. Let's use that on Alm. I think everybody's gone except for Tobin. Uh, they've got about equal defense, so... I think keeping them right here would be fine. Because only one of each enemy can attack them. Alright. I think I'll end, uh, end my turn there. Alright, Gray did quite a heaping helping of damage here. He's going to recover. Actually, a bunch of them are going to recover. Uh, I should really do something about this guy right here. How what? How much damage does he do? Nine to her, four defense. So she'd take five damage from each hit on him, or from him. All right. Uh, who could use experience? Tobin could. Tobin could. Tobin is going to come over here and beat this guy. Beat this guy! Look at how handsome he looks in his crit portrait. Go, Tobin! Yeah, I knew you'd go far. All right, and then we're gonna have gray black magic. This guy. Well, look at me go. Look at gray go. Gray go. He has. Jeez, G Saint Jesus, he's got a lot of HP for a mage. Maybe I shouldn't have made him a mage. <laughs> Seems like a mistake on my part. Okay, um... He's still level 2, right? Yeah. Anybody else need... Oh, this is going to be rough. Actually, this won't be terrible. Actually, no, I can make this work. Because she should be able to take this guy out, right? Yeah, 5 damage each hit. He's got 10 HP left. Alright, so I'll have Alm come over here and start smacking him up. 12 dam- or 6 damage a shot. Okay. Uh, she'll be left with 8 HP, but I'll use Silk to heal her. As long as she hits. There we go. Sigh. You need to heal. Yep. Oh, people around them make comments. I didn't know that. So that was Gray that was telling Tobin that he did a good job. That's neat. I like that. Uh, let's have Cliff finish this guy off. I, I you know what? The, the fact that, like, I, can, I have the rusted sword makes me think that if the iron sword breaks, I can fix it? Oh no, is that an experience bar? It doesn't seem to be going down. Hold on, what, what about the shield that, uh, Akuabara has? It is an experience bar! I thought it was durability! Oh, so I should have equipped that. Okay. 
Well, you win some, you lose some on that one. All right, Tobin, let's heal you up with some recovery magics here. Nice save. Nice save. I believe that's pretty much everyone but uh, but who I've been referring to as Kuabara. I get the feeling that my healer is about to get smacked. Yep. Whoa! Mmm. <laughs> Hello, Silk. <laughs> Jesus. All right, let's Nosferatu this guy. Hopefully it hits and then finish him off with Tobin. Nope, it missed. All right. Plan B. Uh, we hit him with the Nosferatu from Silk. That would kill him. We... Actually, how about we weaken, weaken him with Tobin and then uh, we'll smack him up with... Uh, we'll finish him off with uh, Claire. Oh, you know what? Never mind. Tobin just got that kill. Ba -da -da -da! Is it just me or am I on fire lately? I don't know. I think it's everybody. Yep, battle complete. Complete. <sighs> that was a little too close. Not really. Well, Gray actually had a lot of kills. Silk did as well. Everybody gained experience. People kind of with the fatigue there, but I don't think it really matters in these individual battles. Claire, you're safe. Oh, good day, Fernand. And what brings you here? Need you even ask? When I heard you had been taken prisoner, I mounted my finest destrier and sped here at once. Sir Clive couldn't leave the hideout without its commander, of course. But I see I am a step behind regardless. Who is this rabble? Um, are you talking about us? They are not rabble, Fernand. This boy is Alm. He is the grandson of Sir Mycen himself. Mycen's grandson? Lucas, I demand to know the meaning of this. You were ordered to find the general himself, not some mewling child. Sadly, Sir Mycen was not so easily convinced. However, Alm and his friends have joined our cause in his stead. Is this some manner of folly to you, Lucas? Am I to be amused? Such base-born curs cannot possibly aid our cause. The Deliverance has no place for brats with pitchforks. Fernand, you must listen to reason. These curs you so easily disparage fought valiantly for us. In fact, without Alm, we might not have retaken the southern outpost. I can vouch for their strength. <laughs> as if the word of a backwater noble carries weight with me. Your entire house should be kissing the Knights of Sophia's feet. Uh, I think that's enough. You can say whatever nasty things about me you like. I'll get over it. But Lucas deserves your respect. I beg your pardon? Do I look like a man who listens to the opinions of peasants? Then you can listen to me because I happen to agree with him. Fernand, my brother already explained this to you, did he not? Sir Clive, what exactly did he explain? A soldier's worth is not determined by the station of his birth. If we do not all fight together as one, then we will never defeat Desai. Those are wise words. Unforgettable words. Desai's forces already have us at heel. Yet you would splinter us further? <sighs> you there, boy. That's me, I take it? Out of respect for Sir Clive, I will permit you to join the Deliverance. But you will learn your place. Now, Claire, seeing as you are safe, you have no need for these people. Come, let us return. We must report this matter to Sir Clive at once. I will do no such thing. I'm going with Om. Very well. Do as you please. <laughs> Wow, what a jerk! I've never met someone so rude. I guess we've been spoiled by Lucas. He nearly convinced me that swinish knights are the exception, not the rule. But that was a swine, all right. <laughs> you poor dears must be so upset. I apologize for the way he treated you. Don't be silly. You don't have to lower yourself for a miserable human being like that. Oh my. Oh, great. Here we go. What? I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, regardless, please don't think ill of Fernand. He wasn't always like this. The world 
changed him. Did something happen to him? <sighs> we live in trying times, and some things that transpire are difficult to put into words. In any case, we should be on our way. All right then, Sally Forth, Tally Ho, and the like. We are off to continue our quest. Uh, before we do that, okay, so now that I know that those are experience, that's uh, experience with the sword, not, I actually kind of want to see something now. Um, let's say I swap with him. Does he get the swap ability? No, okay. So he has to work his own way up to get the swap ability. So in that case, I think I'll keep that on him. I'll swap the leather shield to Tobin because he could use more defense. Uh, and the convoy, I'm gonna give Alm the lightning sword temporarily. So that way we can get some of the, uh, the abilities that go with it. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna have Cliff keep using the iron sword to, to hone his skills with it. I wonder if you get another iron sword if it'll have the same abilities. Also, I'm noticing like the stars underneath that. I wonder if that's like potential or something like that. Either way. I don't think it's too important right now. We could figure it out later, but for the time being, we got another place to go to, and that is into this field here. Second Battle of Southern Sophia, 12th of Flostim, 401 VC. Or maybe it's Flostim. All right, let's take a look at our combatants over here. Ah, uh, our combat. Our combat. Hold on. Something ain't right here. Six enemies, I see none of them on the map. Oh, wait, there's there's a bunch of them right there. And there's two of them right there. Okay, so we got six enemies to go on. This is a huge battlefield. We do not need this much land. Gah. What is it with the Japanese and scary people having no eyebrows? In the meantime, however, all eight of our slots are filled. Uh, I want to put the people with the least amount of experience points in the front. So that would be... Lucas is pretty much just going to be meandering in the back here. Yep, that should do it. And I think... Oh, I guess I got to hit this bridge up first. But I'm thinking I'll have Tobin, Claire, and Gray go after these two. And I'll split her off with the major group of Alm and the rest of these guys here to the north. Actually, you know what? I might want to... God damn it, I'm doing this again. I'll... Screw it, we're going to the battle right now. I, I I don't mean to just, like, spend so much time on this. I usually take care of this, like... I usually cut ahead of when I'm gonna be, you know, doing these kinds of things, but still. Uh, either way, I think I'm actually going to change up what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna see if anybody has any, like, uh, support conversations here. Nobody yet. All right. Gray over there. You over there, you over there. I'm actually going to split off... I'll split off Silk from the, the group that I plan on having to go north and have her heal up the, the rest of them. In the meantime, Gray can actually follow the rest of them up to the north there. So two fighters and a healer and four fighters and a healer basically making their way up to the north there. Well, I mean, more like... Three fighters, a mage, and a healer. All right. Here come the horses. Do they think they have what it takes to, to spar with me? Nay, I say nay. She have the iron lance? Yeah. I should try to use her a little bit more often. Actually, this will this will work out. This will work out fine. I'm sure they'll go for the for her, but still. Uh, Tobin's got the leather shield, if I'm not mistaken. I probably should have given that to, uh, Claire instead. So that way she could benefit from it more. I hope I can block that bridge before the, uh, the horses come. Here we go. Claire's gained some EXP here. Okay. Tobin, Tobin, Tobin. Okay, so I'm gonna place uh, her in here. Use recover. Uh, she only took five damage. Uh, 
Uh, let's go ahead and attack this gentleman right here. He's got the shield, so he's not only going to be dealing one damage to him. I think it's bare minimum of one damage. Excellent. Silk can come up here and heal up Clara. Probably should have waited until after combat for that, the more I think about it. Because if she misses, 89% chance to hit. If she misses, then it's going to be an issue. There we go. I expected as much. And she leveled up. Excellent. Ooh. I can read our foes like a book. Attack, skill, and speed. Excellent, excellent, excellent. He still has the iron sword, so we're good there. Uh, do I? Oh, I can't. Uh, nope, I can't actually attack any of them from here. Uh, is this the only bridge? Yes. I'll have him wait at the foot of the bridge here. Yeah, none of them can actually attack them right now. I'll have Faye come up north. I'll have Gray come up north. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna create a little bit of a barrier around uh, around f uh, Silk. Hopefully, I can do that. I don't think that's good enough. Yep, going straight for Silk. Okay, missed, fortunately. She healed up with that attack. Excellent. They're all lining that there. Could be good, actually. Okay, who do I want to go next? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's have Tobin weaken him, uh, soften him up. And I'll have Claire deliver the blow, final blow like I did last time. That leather shield is really useful. Because I could usually, I could send in the people with the shields first to attack. Although she's not going to be able to kill him in one hit. There we go. A glorious victory. Okay, uh, she can come back here and recover under him. Uh, I'm sorry, recover under her. Gratitude indeed. And then Cliff and Kuwabara can make their way up north. My ranged fighters right here. He's got the lightning sword, so I could I, actually I should bring Tobin up to the front here since he can attack from a distance now. Uh, I'm gonna hold the line here. Gonna come in. Whoa! Whoa! The fact that that counts as magical is really good. Okay, we'll wait. I can Nosferatu him. It won't kill him, but eh, really not worth it. Black magic. I think I could actually kill him with fire. Yeah. All right. Gray's getting some experience. Uh, Cliff could use some experience, actually. So I think I'll move him up here. Wait for the rest of these guys to sort of mosey on in here. Have her come up this way. Have her come up this way. Uh, I might as well heal him. Get some more of that sweet, sweet goodness that we all... I don't know what I'm saying. Uh... Uh, do I want... Uh, Lucas is still pretty high level, so I think I'll hold off on him for now. And I can actually attack one of these guys from a distance. I might actually be able to make him back off. Let's see what that does. Uh, one's coming in for an attack. They attack him. Yep, he backed off. Okay, good. All right. Uh, Tobin. How much health does he have left? 11. There's no way Tobin's going to be able to beat him. I could Nosferatu this guy. And then, yeah, and then have somebody else come in and take the final blow. Boop! That's a good heal as well. For myself. Who needs experience? Uh, she does. All right, uh, that will actually work out pretty well. Let's have him, let's have Alm back up. And Clara can come over here and it's, and strike at this guy. And then, okay, that is a very nice focus on her hips there and her Pegasus's wings. Pegasus's wings. And, uh, yeah. Tobin can take this, uh, this attack here. Because that leather shield is working wonders for him right now. Uh, after that, I'm thinking we have Silk come up here. 
And heal up our boy Alm. It looks like she- I- I, I realize that's, that's like her- her sort of like pre- like cleric headdress there. It looked like she was wearing a bucket. Alright, I think we're good for now. The dude's gonna- oh no, he's gonna battle! Wow. You know what? I can respect that he's willing to die. Uh, Cliff could use some experience right now, but I think I'm still gonna keep up the pace with Clara. I keep calling her Clara, she's just Claire. Hit this guy with the Iron Lance, he'll gain an ability from the Iron Lance. I'm sorry, she'll gain an ability from the Iron Lance. Ah, so close. I can actually- I should actually see if I can get rid of that guy with Clara. Speaking of, I'm gonna put Tobin in this position for sort of like luring purposes. Let's have everyone else start across the bridge. Uh, single file now, single file. Okay, he's gonna back up a little bit more to heal. Yep, figured that much. Once he's done a little bit of healing, he'll step out and try to attack us. Move Kuabara up this way. I'm never, I'm never not gonna call him Kuabara because his sprite really does look like Kuabara. I don't know if anybody's wa anybody watching this right now has watched Yu Yu Hakusho, but uh, it's a good show and I highly recommend it. You got five. Yep, he's coming into it for an attack. You're coming in for your attack run. Hey, he got the swap art. All right, I can put the leather shield to somebody else now. That was actually really fast. I guess I did use him for a lot of uh, combat stuff. Anyway, one more attack from uh, Claire. Actually, I should I should try to uh, level up the healers as well. Uh, let's use that. Recover. Have Silk come over here and heal up Gray. Ah, so close to leveling up. All right, and then Clara can just come over here and kick this guy's butt. Because I think she's really close to leveling up as well. I think this will put her over the edge. Yep. I was gonna sing the other one. Skill, speed, and defense. She's getting some pretty good stat gains, especially compared to like Gray or Cliff. Battle complete. Gray killed one person. Claire killed everybody else. Well, I gave her all the experience, so that's good, I guess. Oh, almost really close to leveling up. Oh, Silk. That was such a waste of bonus experience on Silk. Well fought, everyone. The Deliverance's hideout is just a stone's throw away now. I'll send a messenger ahead to inform Sir Clive of our arrival. Let us make haste. I'm sure he'll be quite eager to meet you. Alrighty then, and with that, we're gonna call it here next time on Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of Valentia. Did I call it Fates at the beginning of the episode? I don't know. Anyway, next time on Fire Emblem uh, Echoes, we're gonna be heading to the Deliverance Hideout and hopefully battling ourselves uh, a Slade and Decide. See you all then! Later!